Hello and welcome to my story time. I'm Kelly Camby. I'm going to read you this book, Timeless. But first, I'm going to answer some questions that are in this envelope. I haven't seen these questions. What is your favorite time of day? Dinner time. How do you, how do you like spending time? Eating dinner. No, um, probably swimming. On a day like today, definitely swimming. What do you always make time for? Um, my son and swimming and eating. <laughs> no, and drawing and writing. Uh, why did you call your book Timeless? Um, because a little bit of a play on words. So the book is about not having enough time, but also I'm hoping it will be a timeless classic. And can you please read Timeless for us now? Yes, I can. Read Timeless. It began in no time at all and continued time after time, day after day, until eventually there was simply no time at all. Someone was always running out of it. Or losing track of it. Or lying around, letting it slip through their fingers. If only we had more hours in the day, Emmett, whose parents turned back time to name him, was told time and time again, which got Emmett thinking. He remembered how he'd once heard that time flies. Maybe that was the answer. But try as he might, and using the biggest net he had, Emmett was unable to catch any not even with a massive big net. He'd also been told before you know it, time passes you by. So Emmett waited and watched. But all he saw were cars and birds and people busily going about their day. Time is precious, he'd heard that one many times, but when he went looking, he found none at the art gallery, the museum, the mint, or the bank. None at the museum, none at the art gallery, none at the mint, and none at the bank. Time stands still, so Emmett did too, but that turned out to be a complete waste of time. Then one day, Emmett read an ad this year, give the gift of time. That's what the ad says there. Emmett, filled to the brim with excitement, grabbed his money box, ran out the front door, ran down the street, and in the first shop he saw, and offered up a handful of loose change. I'd like to buy some time, please. The lady behind the counter looked at Emmett, confused at first, but then with a smile. She's reading the same paper, by the way, with the same ad. And told Emmett, if time is what you want, you have to make it. Remember that always. And re remember that always is exactly what Emmett did. And when Emmett got older and had his own family, he opened a store called Emmett and Family Quality Time. And do you know what they made there? time. They fixed watches and clocks and he spent quality time with his family. The end. <laughs>